Hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? What's up? Um, today's different. Today's a different. Uh, this is like Japanese typing game. I'm not really good at typing, but I found I used to play this game when I was really young, and <clears throat> and you know, I, I decided to play this game because it's pretty much related to like Japanese. Yeah, it's all Japanese word, but there's a. You know, we have to type in in English letters like alphabet. So, you know, I think I could give it a shot. So, yeah, how are you guys doing today? Hey, yo, I'm feeling like creep. I'm always one of the first ones. Oh, uh, no, no, bro. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, though. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all ever heard of this one, this game? Uh, Sushida. Sushida. It's about, you know, it's about, you know, typing game. So, I'm not really good at typing, but I'm going to give it a shot. And it's for free. So, if you, you know, search Sushida on a website, you know, you can, you can play this game for free. So, if you get time, if you're bored, yeah, just try this one. It's... It's kind of fun. It's been a while though, because the last time I played this game, that was like, hmm, that was like, uh, I think when I was like 12, 13, somewhere around there. So, this is in class right now. Oh, y'all, in, you're in class right now. So tonight I'm going to be playing this game, but if y'all have any questions about Japanese culture, Japanese language, or any questions, you still can ask me any questions, okay? So, yeah. So like, it's like playing games at the same time. I don't know, y'all can like learn something from this game, but you know, we could have fun together, right? Not sure it's popular in Japan right now though, but it was really popular back then, like really long time ago. I don't know about now, maybe it is popular now. Alright. So do you guys have any questions? I'm gonna finish this smoke and I'll play the this game. So, oh, let's go. Well, you know what? I'm gonna start. I want to do it. Let's go. So yeah, if y'all have any questions, just uh type in in comment section. And after this, after I finish this game, I'll try to answer answer any questions, all questions. So yeah, mm. finished all my exams last Friday. Next thing is Japan. Whew. So now you coming? You ready? You ready? All right, let's play this game. Uh like before I start, I'm not really good at typing. So yeah, just I'm not really good at game. Oh, uh, there's a three. Three chords. This is the easiest one, I think. And this is the middle. This is the hardest one. Okay, so let's try this one. So, bro, how's it going? Coming to Tokyo in late March. Any place you recommend it? Uh, mm, mm, 
maybe maybe Nakamegoro because around the, you come in in late March, right? So it's almost like uh, the Sakura season, cherry blossom season. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So it's almost cherry blossom season. So yeah, Nakamegoro is I would recommend you to go there. Grammar test was okay, but kick test was uh, hard. Thank you for donation. Okay, so I'm gonna play this game. All right, let's play this game. And y'all can maybe learn something from it. All right, let's go. Kiku tsuru ima hotate boru map nekutai donuts amaebi kappa maki Jira Shizushi Iza Kozov Dem Shiji Shop Uberi Kodai Iseki Isutori Ken Kumori no Chihare Nume no あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ。おいしそう。あ。いちはい。筋肉。わた。ぼこり。筋肉。お。わざがだ。ふう。まあ、なんしょ、いつ。Oh. Oh. Good score. Well, I think I did it well. Should I do it? Is there like English? Not sure there's an English one though. <laughs> uh, have you guys ever tried this one? Japanese uh, typing game. And any words that you could find that you know? Like any words that you know? Were you able to find some words? Man, this is this is really hard. Let me try the middle course. Let's go. Zori mushi, chahan, niwaka ne, neko ni koban. This was hard. Yeah. This was hard. Game looks fun. Need to try it later as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all gonna try. Y'all, you need to. You should try this game if you really study in Japanese. Cause I feel like this game isn't about only typing. If you're, if you don't speak Japanese, because you need to be able to read the Japanese word first. So there was a kanji, I couldn't read and I had to like mm, mm, mm. So if you're reading uh, the English under the Japanese words I think you can type in that fast Not really sure though, 
Mm, unless you can type without looking, because I have to look at the keyboard when I'm typing, right? Because I'm not really good. At, I'm not really good at like computer, that kind of technology stuff. So I'm not really good at it, but it. <laughs> what is tsuki ga kirei desu ne? Tsuki ga kirei desu ne is moon looks beautiful. Moon looks good. Moon. Tsuki is moon, right? And kirei desu ne is like looks beautiful. It's beautiful. Stuff like that. So moon looks beautiful. Moon is beautiful. Stuff like that. Yeah. So that's what I mean. Tsuki ga kirei desu ne. Mm. Wow. I'm not, I'm not really sure that I'm good at it or I'm not really good at it, but I think I'm doing good. <laughs> for like, you know, I'm trying this, I'm playing this game for the first time in like few years. Yeah. I almost like 10 years. So, wow. But how, how, but it's good for improving the skill of my typing, like typing skills too. And hope y'all can learn something from like this game. I don't know. Like, you know, some words like a tsuki ga kirei desu ne. You could ask that questions. You know, you could ask me that kind of questions, like some words that appear on this game that you don't know. You know what I mean? Oof. <laughs> Yo, like, I don't really watch, like, game streaming, so how do they do that? Like, they've been playing the game all the time and talking? Or, like, it's meant they mainly talk? What do you guys think about this one, this game? Hmm. This this game called Sushida. Sushida. So if y'all wanna try, look it up. Sushida. Alright. Sushida. Search Sushida. Then you should be able to, you know, find a website that you can play this game. So yeah. And by the way, a new video is coming like pretty soon, pretty soon. Next video is about the rent. Uh, I asked Japanese people about how much do people in Tokyo usually pay for rent in a month. So, yeah. Next video is going to be the about rent. Mm. I, I, yeah, sometimes I get the question about like, what's the average rent in Tokyo, uh, in Osaka and stuff like that. So I was thinking maybe I should make the videos about rent in Tokyo. Then... I'm gonna go to Osaka, or like other cities, and I can make that kind of videos, like series. You know what I mean? Depends, depends hard on the game, to be honest. But I was more involved in game streams couple of years ago. Oh, some games have more than enough downtime. That's where most streams, most streamers talk. Huh. So I should talk more. Hmm. Do you have like any games that you want me to play on streaming? Or do you guys have any idea about like streaming? You know, like some something that you want me to do on the streaming? You know what I mean? Like ideas. Because last stream, I think we tried we tried, yeah, we took the JLPT test together, right? The last time. Oh, interesting topic because I'm always in just how much people pay for rent in different cities. Oh, that's true. Okay. I was curious. So I was curious. So I was curious about how much do people in Tokyo pay for rent? Because me, um, I, I'm living in Tokyo right now with my friends, three, uh, three of us. And the rent cost, um, one hundred fifty thousand yen. So it's almost like, uh, like twelve thousand dollars. I would say, yeah, twelve thousand dollars a month. But it's 
you know, share house, we like, you know, three of us. So we divide it by three. So I pay 50,000 yen per month for rent. So it's a good deal. On onsen streams, <laughs> onsen streams. I can't go to onsen, man. I got I got tats, bro. I got tats. If you got tats, you can't go to onsen. You can go to gym. You can get a membership for the gym. Um, nightclubs, you can't go. Uh, there's uh, so much place you can't go if you got tats. So you know it sucks. <laughs> so about one th one thousand two hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like twelve thousand, yeah. And how big if I mind asking? Oh it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Um we all got so the Japanese Jap Japanese apartment layout term is like number and LDK, right? Something like let's say one LDK, which means one bedroom and L stands for living room and D stands for dining room and k stand for um kitchen right so our place is three ldk so we all got like rooms for each then we got living room dining room and kitchen so it's pretty yeah it's pretty good deal in tokyo yeah 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 hmm hey how you doing yeah yeah i'm doing good i'm doing good thank you for asking how you doing yeah, I would love to go to the onsen, but I got tats as well. Oh, shit. I mean, there's some onsen that you could go if you got, even if you have tats, though. Like, some onsen in Japan. Some, you, if you look it up, you can find it. But it's not the best onsen. You know what I mean? The best onsen is always not allowed to have tats. So, mm, those rules should be changed. It's got to change. They, cause like Japan needs to have more people from other countries, like only Japanese living in Japan and like Jap I mean Japanese culture, our culture is like you know, there's beautiful sides, but there's also the dark sides too that has to change. But I feel like Japanese people don't really care about the dark dark side of Japan. They they're not really focusing on that side. So <clears throat> yeah, tats, bro. It sucks in Japan. I want to still get tats though. I'm planning getting tats on my neck. No, no, not on my face, but on my neck and stuff. So I'm paying uh, 1050 with a friend as well. And we have a 2LDK. Mm. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is it nighttime there? Yes. It's like... Um, Ah, 10 30 10 30 p.m in japan or your roommates back uh no nah. they working now they working i'm the one who's in the house right now doing stream yeah so mm. Hold on. i'm gonna go back home real quick i'll be right back Okay, let's try this one again. This game. Whew. Yeah, I really recommend you guys to play this game if you plan. Uh, if you study in Japanese, not sure it helps you studying, but like you know, I, I personally think, uh, your reading skills. You can improve your reading skills, like, you know, while playing this game. As a, is it true Japanese men are scared of foreign women? 
I don't think they're scared of foreign women. Like, it's not scared. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think they're scared of foreign women. But Japanese men tend to prefer, like, Japanese girls. Hmm. I feel like most of Japanese are not really interested in, like, like you know, other, like, other countries, like, you know, culture, language, and stuff like that. <laughs> they don't really care. They don't, they're not really interested in. So, hmm. Like, yeah, Japanese, most of Japanese, I feel like ja most of Japanese men are into Japanese girls. Yeah. As an outsider, it looks sometimes that the whole Japanese mentality needs to change a little bit because something like with the tats are a little bit outdated. Hmm. I agree. I agree. But it looks like that the younger generation is more open-minded. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, that's what I feel like, too. Like, it's changing. Yeah, it's really changing. Mm. I think the, the internet impact, pretty, you know, it has a lot of uh, impact on people on the internet. So, yeah, they be more, they're more open-minded because they can get uh, information by themselves. And it's easy, so I heard the scared foreign women will say they're too small. <laughs> uh, mm, I think that's kind of true. Like most of my friends, uh, they they like most of them. They never date a foreign woman, right? <clears throat> so I'm the one who have. Who has experience with like you know dating uh, people from other countries and like usually they like they asking me questions about like you know that kind of like you know sex stuff and stuff and yeah they tend to ask like oh did they did she say anything about your dick size and stuff like that and also they be asking me like is it true that like foreign women or not nah, fuck with like you know small dick the true and blah 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 yeah so i think that is true mm. sure it connected the world more mm. all right so let's play this game again boom oh. okay Bye. ガッタイロボ新発見山田の王道ハッピードゥあああドゥガクセイあねけけつおまが プリプあ全国大会風力発電チョコレートパフェ日本国憲法上昇期 英会は今日うん継続は力からなり帰るの子は帰るこれは天ですかうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうん
Mm. Mm. Like, I'm okay with Japanese girls too. Like, they're loyal, they're cute and stuff. Mm. There's a pros and cons in everything, right? So, mm. any other questions? Sushida. Mm. I wonder if this game is still like as popular as before. It was pretty popular back then. I'm not sure about now. Do Japanese people still stay at stare at foreigners oh yes they even stare at me <laughs> yeah they i guess because i look a little bit different than other japanese like typical japanese people and also i got tats um there's no mask mandatory no more so i don't wear a mask but people be still wearing a mask outside so they give me the look you know what i mean they give me the look mm. Yeah, so even foreigners, I think they would stare at you. Mm. Whoa, that's a foreigner. That's yeah. So, mm. do you often see gaijin hunters? Her there in areas like Ikebukuro, where many westerns bars and clubs are. Oh, Ikebukuro. Not really sure. Ikebukuro is a place where many westerns and bars and clubs are. But definitely, definitely Shibuya, Roppongi, uh, Shinjuku. There's a lot of like, mm, like Western bars and clubs. So, yeah. Uh, but do I often see a gaijin hunters? I think. Not sure. I often see them, but yeah, sometimes like I see them. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Gaiji hunters, yeah. Especially at the birds with clubs. You can you can tell. I I can tell but like, you know, how they acting, how they talk, and how they dress, I think. Like it gives me the hint. Oh, she could be the Gaiji hunter. Like she kinda looks like she kinda dressed like Gaiji hunters. You know what I mean? Maybe it's just me, but I, I, I get the feelings, you know what I mean? Um, well, maybe you get more chances because now Japan is open again. You never know. That is true. You ne I never know. We never know. We never know. So, yeah. I mean, like, right now, I'm okay with, like, be in a relationship if I, if I find one. But now I'm just chilling. I'm just, you know, like, going, go with the flow. Just trying to focus in on the... Like working stuff like YouTube, um, I do the Uber Eats too, so I gotta make money. So I'm focusing on making money right now. Yeah. <clears throat> For some reason, you look a bit Latino. <laughs> I get that a lot. Actually, I get that a lot. <laughs> I get that a lot. I look like a little bit like Latino, like half Latino, half Asian and stuff. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> I heard in the club Japanese men are wild when they drunk and they start grabbing girl girls. Um hmm. not sure about they grabbing girls, but yes, when Japanese men get drunk, they're gonna have completely different personality. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> like different person. Like different really different when they get drunk they go wild i'm not sure they be you know grabbing girls i'm not really sure about that but yes japanese men go wild when they drunk so you should be careful all right mm. okay let's try again 
This is how do you アメとムチネガティブチェンジョウやっぱうんやっぱり無理色鉛筆時間がないバーバウムクーネポートコンのロマン一面ちょもぎたてフルーツ星の王子様一匹王あ王家に日本国憲法発行大王土月が綺麗ですね。給食当番シルバークセサリイチゴショートケーキうわ隠れても無駄だわわわチャレンジ製品相対性。I'm getting better. I think I yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting better. I'm getting better at it. Yeah. <laughs> Ropongi, yes. I'm sorry. I meant Ropongi, not Ikebuko. Huh. Ropongi, yes. Ropongi, there are a lot of uh, like Western birds, Western uh, anything. <laughs> like bars, restaurant. Um, Clubs, everything, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> And also, if you guys have any requests or i d e a for our videos, let me know. Let us know. Hmm. That would help us a lot. Hmm. Because I'm curious what you guys want to know, what you guys want to see,、hmm? what you guys want to watch. On now video.、Mm. So if you, if you have、uh, any requests, feel free to like, like, let me know, let me know, let me know. And yes, I would do it. So,、mm. yeah. So,、mm, last shooting, so last Saturday, I went shooting and I went to Shibuya and I asked Japanese people about marriage culture in Japan. Because, like, traditionally in Japan,、uh, I guess we, we talked about this before, but marriage culture in Japan,、uh, women expected to be a housewife, right? Yeah. So I was curious if, like, you know, it's, it's still the same, like, they still think the same, or, you know, has it changed? So I asked people. And yeah, that was,、uh, that was they had an interesting opinion. Yeah. Mm. Uh, how many dates before official relationship in Japan? I think in Japan, right? I think it's gonna be like at least at least three or four dates to be in a relationship. At least, though, at least. But I feel like Japanese girls t a k e s more time to be in a relationship. So I'm gonna say like a month. A month of. Like texting and dating and stuff, then maybe you can be in a relationship with a Japanese girl. Yeah. You should make dating advice video where you give advice. <laughs> But I'm not a professional of dating, though. I'm not a professional of dating. <laughs> I'm not. So, uh, not sure people would. Wanna hear my advice about dating? <laughs> Do you know the game Suicide Salary Man? It's also a free game on the internet like Sushida and pretty Japanese based, as you can tell from the name Suicide Salary Man. That's, that's interesting. That's interesting. Suicide, suicide Salary Man? 
Never heard of it. Y'all ever heard of it? Um, so, so, how do you spell suicide? Suicide, suicide salary, man. Karoshi, so so again, so playing on all the games. Oh. I've never seen, never heard of it. This is my first time I heard this about this game. So sad, salary man, Karoshi. <laughs> is, it, is there any like Japanese studying games though? Like if there is one, we could we could we could play that game together, right? Have you ever been in a bar fight? Nah, 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 nah. Cause I don't drink. That's what I don't like about, like you know, when people get too drunk, some people start to fight and stuff. I just want a peace. I just want to have fun. But they be starting a fight. They they be starting a fight, and I just don't fuck with that. You know. Like I like, I ain't gonna lie. I like seeing someone's fighting. <laughs> I like it. I like, I like seeing it. But you know, if it's my friend and my friend like fighting and like you know, ah, uh, I just don't like that. So yeah, mm. that could be another reason why I don't drink. <laughs> when Japanese people give compliments, do they mean it or are they lying? I guess it depends on person. Depends on person. Mm -mm -mm. Depends on person. Like some people lie when they give him a compliments, right? Mm. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when I talk to Japanese girls and I give them compliments, right? Not everything is like, uh, how to say? Like hundred percent, hundred percent true, that I think, you know what I mean. I'm just saying like compliments. I'm just giving them compliments to make them feel nice. To be trying to be respectful, respectful. Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> maybe it depends a person. Some people don't lie. Some they don't, but some people do, like me. <laughs> hey, bro. What's up? What's up? How you doing? If you guys have any questions about Japanese language, Japanese culture, or any question, ask me anything, alright? Well, it's like everywhere sometimes you ask how you're doing, but you don't really care. <laughs> yes, that's a good example. That's a good example. <laughs> that's a good example. Sometimes you ask him, like, how are you? But you don't really care. <laughs> Why are Japanese really shows... Huh? Why are Japanese reality shows so boring compared to American ones? Mm, maybe Japanese are boring, so that's why uh, when they make like a shows, it's boring because the person who make the con like videos is boring. The person in that show, they're boring. So at the end, it's gonna be the boring show. <laughs> mm. Like they don't like, I guess they don't like the trouble. Like, they've been doing a lot of, like, crazy stuff, though. Like, comedy shows. They've been doing crazy stuff. Mm. But, like, uh, like a Japanese reality show, Japanese, like, a dating shows. These are boring as hell. Why you don't do uh, IRL streaming? Uh, I would love to do that, but my data, my data is really bad. I could do it, I could do it, I could do it outside, like IRL streaming. I could do it, but I'm really care. I'm really worried about uh, the internet, the signal. It goes bad, I think. But yes, I'll give it a shot, I'll give it a shot. Mm. Yeah, I need to, I guess I need to have like small Wi-Fi that I can carry on everywhere I go 
so I can do the streaming IRL streaming. I don't know how streamers do the IRL streamings usually, like about uh, internet wise. Like, I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, I would love to do that. If I'm gonna do that, where do you want me to go? Like other places in Tokyo or other cities in Japan? Mm. Let me know, let me know. Do Japanese people still do black, black face? Oh, like a makeup stuff? I'm not really sure. Maybe they do. There was actually, okay. So I talked about um uh, last Saturday. I went to shooting about the Japanese marriage culture, right? And there was a one girl who's making up, uh, who was putting a makeup on like the black face one, and I asked her, "Can I interview you?" Because she looks, you know, interesting. So I asked her and she said, okay, so y'all be, y'all should be able to see her on our videos. Yeah, pretty soon. So <laughs> wait for it. Yo, what's good? What's good, bro? How you doing? All right. Do it in Osaka. Okay, Osaka. I would love to go to Osaka. Yeah, that's like my second hometown, Osaka. Yeah. All right, let's try the next. Should I try the hardest one or easiest one? This is a, like, the, this is the easiest one. This is the middle, or this is the hardest. Or if you want me to um uh, take JLPT test again, like before, the, like last stream, just let me know. But for now, I'm gonna play this one. I, I just wanna give it a shot. I just wanna see people's reaction about this. Uh, like, Japanese typing game streaming, so. <laughs> All right, let's try. Let's try, I'm not really, uh, I wanna, like, you know. Ka, 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 ru, shi, su, sayona, ta, i, pi, ngu. to be roasted in the comments oh my god <laughs> and she, yeah so she was putting makeup like she she told me she a model and i asked her why you you know making that like that and she was saying oh i do this just because you know i'm a model and i had the shooting earlier so that's why i'm dressing like this and blah 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 so yeah you're gonna see her you're gonna see her in next video no, actually, next video is gonna be about the rent. So next, next video, yes, about Japanese marriage culture. Um, yeah, she'll be on that video. Hmm. So y'all have any any other questions? Is she cosplaying? Um, not really sure. She was cosplaying. Not really sure. 
but she she just told me she a model and um is she a cosplay as a black person nah nah i don't think she was cosplaying as a black person she was kind of like have you ever heard of like kuro geru which means like black geru in japan um uh, it was kind of popular trend apparently like decades like few decades ago i'm not even apparently that was a thing that was a thing apparently like back then right and some people still do that some like really some people still dressing like that and i found one of them in shibuya and i was able to interview her so yeah <laughs> and she told me she was like she's uh 16 17 she, she told me she in high school and dressing like that so i was like wow damn <laughs> an interesting topic would be what people do in their free time like hobbies etc hmm Hmm. Like, yeah. I'm curious too. I'm curious too. I think it could be uh different answers it depends on the cities, right? Cuz if you ask people in Tokyo, it's a big city, so there's a lot of things that you can do, but at the same time, like you can find place to play sports, I think. Like a uh, big field in somewhere. <laughs> you know so it could be different answers so yeah i'm curious people in tokyo about like their hobbies what do they do for free time is it hip hop fans doing get it no it's not hip hop fans doing the get it i think get it likes hip hop songs and like kind of music you know what i mean so mm, it's not about like hip hop fans doing getu getu likes hip hop culture and kind of stuff mm. stream when you go in uh, arcade would be fun not gonna lie oh, oh, oh. game center ne nihon no game center da wari yana tashikani oh that's a good idea yeah Interview Japanese people when they drunk so that they more honest and less shy. Yeah, that's what I want to do. That's I really want to do that, but like I don't have cameraman to, uh, you know, go to city at night and filming, cause this uh my cameraman, uh we filming once in a week, and you know he's busy too. He has he's working. and he can't be filming like you know at night because he need to sleep right and also apparently he's going to take japanese test in the future like in in few months actually and now he's studying hard he's studying japanese really hard now so um yeah i just need to wait to you know other cameraman he is moving in tokyo like in in a week in two weeks i'm not really sure the exact day But yeah, he's moving in and we going to film. Uh he's going to help me out uh doing this work full time. So, I think I sh- we should be able to go see him at night and asking drunk people uh questions, like do the interviews. Mm. And yeah, when they are drunk, they're less shy and they're more honest, straightforward. Uh they be saying anything. So, <laughs> yeah. I'll do that. interview mm, wait for it wait for it mm. thanks for the suggestions yeah it gives me really good ideas about our content so thank you thank you so much mm. all right let's try this out again mo ichido Manhole. 
ぜ前後左右引っ張りだと作曲家ザリガニ釣り寝違えましたノアの箱舟これあボンゴレビアンコ。What is that? ボンゴレあ,あ、スカイダイビング。あ,あ、空気性<笑>蒸気。おホワイトチョコレート。最高の雪景色場外ホ,ホームラン箱だうだいおちししおり体験ストレスあああまあ、ええ感じか。よくはなってきてる。うん。Oh. Have you ever had Japanese girl approach you and ask you ask for your number? My number? Yeah. 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 Mm. Like, I wasn't. Yeah. Like, when I'm at the bar. Um. Yeah. Yes, I have that kind of experience. Yes, when I go,、uh, when I'm hanging out with my friends, let's say in a Shibuya at night drinking, and yeah, like some girls, like, yeah, one time girl, like, you know, point at me and like not yelling, yelling, but like, you know, she would, so she told me, like, whoa, you're handsome, you're handsome, with loud, loud, like, really loud voice. Wow, i k e m e n イケメンおる。Yeah. Like I had that kind of experience in Tokyo, so yeah.、Mm. I have.、Mm. But not too many though. I feel like people in other countries, I have more experience other I have more experience that girls from other countries approaching me than Japanese girls. So yeah.、Mm. Can't wait to meet some drink,、uh, drunk Japanese people in boys clubs and、uh, have a talk with my bad Japanese. <laughs> no, no, no. When they get drunk and when you get drunk, y'all don't really care about the Japanese like mistaken stuff. And when you get drunk, you feel like you're speaking language in、uh, like, you know, fluent. So, you know, you're gonna have fun. Have you, have you met creepy old white guys in Japan? Um, like, I've seen him. <laughs> I've seen him. <laughs> I have seen him, like, in Japan, in Philippines, and yeah, like, creepy old white guys, yes.、Mm. <laughs> guys flexing how handsome he is. <laughs> But, you know, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just telling you my experience. You know what I mean? It's just the truth. So, Yeah. Hmm. It's just a troop. <sighs> Man, this, pl- this game is really.、Uh, I'm not really good at typing, so. And I'm not even sure if my typing skill is getting better <laughs> by playing this game. <laughs> so, yeah.、Mm, but I think it's, it's pretty hard to date、uh, Japanese. Like, about, like, you know, not only Japanese, like, when you date someone from other countries, it's, it's a different experience. You know, they have different l a n g u a g e different culture, different, like, opinions about something. And, you know, basically, it's different and new experience. And, yeah, I think it's not easy. Mm. Mm. 
How do you reject someone politely? Um, just smile and tell them how you feel, like honest. Like, you know, oh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm not. <sighs> But that's hard. Because if you tell them, like, I'm not interested in you, oof, why would you say that? <laughs> But I'll be like, mm, if girl approach me and if I don't find her attractive, I'm gonna tell her, like, I'm sorry, I'm not really attracted to you. But thank you for, you know, come up and talk to me and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. Because rejection isn't a bad thing, right? It's it's not a bad thing. Mm. People are afraid of, like, getting rejected. Especially Japanese. Japanese are afraid of getting rejected. So, mm. I'm going a, I'm to a tell them my honest opinion. <laughs> Yeah, if I find her attractive, I'm gonna tell her I find her attractive. If I don't, I'm, if I don't, I'm gonna tell her I don't find you attractive. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think of people who only date Asians? Is it creepy or not? No, it's not creepy. It's just your preference, right? Like racial preference. I don't think that's um, creepy. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. It's just a preference. I do have a preference. And I believe that other people have preferences too. So I don't think that's a creepy. Mm. Now it's better to be direct and not giving false hope in my opinion. <laughs> so yeah. I'll, I'll tell them like, you know, truth. Like, you know, honest opinion. Like, you know, ah, I'm sorry. I'm, you know. Just not my vibe. Um, I don't find you attractive, and you know, you know. I think that's how I would. That's how I would reject people. It's called yellow fever, not creepy. <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't think that's a creepy. It's just your preference. Yeah. Mm. People, we all, we all have preference, right? Mm. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so, like I said, Japanese men's, most of Japanese men's preference in a girl is... Japanese girl like you know you gotta be thin like really skinny <laughs> but you have to have a big boobs you don't gotta have ass and like nice hair you gotta dress good and that you can't be putting on too much perfume and stuff and not too much makeup I guess uh, and you gotta act like kawaii idol like kawaii Japanese idol and yeah <laughs> So, mm. yeah, sometimes you just don't vibe after the first date. So it's better to be honest and just say it. Mm. Yeah, just say it, yeah. Did they cry? <sighs> no, they don't cry in front of me. Maybe they, they crying on the way home. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe in their house, maybe they crying. But they, they didn't cry in front of me. But I have an experience. I have an experience. Uh, I used to teach English. Surprisingly, I used to teach English to Japanese people, right? Yeah. I was doing an online English class. Mm. It's like one-to-one -one class, right? So I just need to talk with them in English. And if they have question about English... Um, you know, I'll answer it mm, and like it's basically about like, you know, improving English uh, speaking skills So I just need I just had to talk with them in English and there was a one girl She started crying like middle of the class because uh, She couldn't like express her feelings in English And she felt like 
English is so hard to, like, master it. Because, like, like, I feel like the reason why most of Japanese people don't speak English is because they have, like, high, like, how do you say? When they start, Eng- when they start studying, like, other languages, they think that you need to be perfect. And they think that they can make no mistake because they are afraid of making mistake. If they make mistake, maybe someone's gonna make fun of you and stuff. Because in Japan, like, make fun of someone's mistake is, I must say, that's kind of common. It's a toxic, but it's kind of common. Like when you make mistake, people tend to make fun of you about that mistake, even though it's what it's about like a language mistake. So I had a lot of experience about like you know when I was speaking English, I I still have a. You know, mistake. I do make mistake when I speak English, like a grammar mistakes and stuff. Even Japanese. I believe that none of people、uh, can speak their language perfect.、Mm. They can. They can. We can, right? Like, there's no way we can speak our language perfect. So,、um, yeah. What was I talking about, though? Japanese guys don't like tan skin, big butt, or curly hair.、Uh, that doesn't sound like a Japanese guy's preference in a girl.、Mm. It's almost the opposite, I think. <laughs> yeah, lighter skin, I think. Yeah, Japanese men are more into lighter skin.、Uh, <laughs> not big butt, big boobs, but you gotta be th- skinny, not thick. And I feel like they prefer straight hair than curly hair.、Hmm. I don't get that mistake thing. I mean, I personally learn how much more when I'm doing mistake. Yeah, so people learn from mistake, right? But in Japan, they're afraid of making mistake. Like to me, like, huh? I don't get it. But, like, you know, they be like that, so. Is this called baka ni suru? Yeah, baka ni suru, or another words you can say it. Age ashi o zoru.、Mm, age ashi o toru. Especially, like, this is this、uh, phrase specifically used when someone m a k e mistake when they speak in. Like, when they make mistake.、Uh, yeah. When they speak in. When they speak in. So, let's say they speak in their different language, like, they speak in English. Which is their second language. And when they mistake, and there's other person making fun of that mistake, it's called Age ashi o toru. Age ashi o toru. So, and it's a thing, it's a thing, it's a really common thing in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, people are expecting, uh, Like Japanese people expecting other Japanese people to speak in, like, you know, if someone said, if, so, if, hold on, if, like, you know, some Japanese says,、uh, yes, I can speak English. And they'd be like, whoa, you speak English? Whoa, that is so cool. But at the same time, they would expect you to speak English just like native speakers. Hmm. Like, if you don't, if you can't speak like native speakers, nah, you're not speaking English. That's how Japanese people think. So, they don't even recognize the accent and whatever, but they're good at finding their mistakes. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I get that a lot. Like, whoa, you told me you speak English, but you made a mistake in this grammar. It's supposed to be this one, not this. Bruh, I know. But it's about, to me though, language is about understanding, not about <laughs> using correct grammars or whatever. It's about understanding. So as long as we understand, it's okay, right? But Japanese people are not like that. So I think that could be another reason why that Japanese people can't speak English. <laughs> You, you learn more when you do m i s t a k e than when you、uh, already got, got something.、Uh, it's really common 
in Japan because Japanese people look so innocent. Oh, it's common, I would say. Yeah, it's common.、Mm. It's funny because you appreciate it when someone comes to you and t r y to speak your language, but on the other hand, you're too afraid to talk in a different language.、Mm. That is true. So, yeah, that was my mindset when I was studying English. Like, why was you afraid of like, people making fun of, you, fun of your mistake? Like, because if I was a person in, like, in Japan, if, there's, if foreigners talk to me in Japanese and when they make a mistake, I wouldn't make fun of it. I wouldn't. I'm gonna be like, you know, oh, Okay, this guy is studying, so you know what I mean? So I'll try to understand what they're saying, what they're trying to tell me, right? But Japanese people were, eh. <laughs> uh, doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Does that mean Japanese guys like white girls? I heard Russians are considered beautiful. Yeah. Like,、mm. when you ask Japanese people, like, what do you think about foreigners? Imme- I think they immediately think like Russians or Americans. In their mind, foreigners are from like, you know, Russia and stuff. And like, um, You know, Russian girls are considered like really beautiful in Japan. Like, really, really beautiful. They are considered as gay. Really, really beautiful girls.、Mm, like, white girls.、Mm. Even white guys、mm, are considered as a like really good looking in Japan somehow. I don't even know why though. Like, why only white? Like, there's、uh, so much races, a lot of race, like, you know,、uh, on the white. It's just strange.、Uh, exactly. If someone shows up here and tells me that b e e p e r s is learning German, I will love it. Also, if they do mistake, I would not even care because they take the time and learn it. Yes, exactly. Exactly, same bro, same. Yeah, if you understand the other person, everything is fine. Everything's fine, yeah. You can you can buy with a language for you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is really true. That is, that's, yeah. When I was in Philippines, yes, there were a lot of people, they come into the Philippines to study English. So most of the people in that language school in Philippines, they don't really speak English. But we had fun, we had a good time, we had a connection, even though we had a language barrier.、Mm. If you're really trying to understand that person, yeah. Yeah, I can get that.、Mm. Why are Japanese people perfectionists? Yeah, that's the word. They are perfectionists. So,、mm, why? I'm, I, I want to know why too. I want to know. Why though? Why are they so perfectionist? Why though? Why they gotta be like that? Ain't nobody's perfect. I mean, you learn a whole new language that takes so much effort, so we should appreciate it. Yeah, we should appreciate it. Yeah. Like, I. Mm. Like, if foreigners, like, you know, trying to talk to me in Japanese, like, I'm really happy. Like, you actually interested in my culture, my language, and trying to speak our language. And it's just a really amazing thing. Like, you know, I'd be really happy. I'd be really appreciated.、Mm. Would Japanese people mock? A foreigner who speaks messed up Japanese. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Based on my.、Um, based on my. Oh my god, I forgot the word. <laughs> yeah, based on my opinion. Oh. 
What is that? Future is here dating AI 84% match. You get out of here. How do I? Mm. Hmm. Okay. All right. I don't think they would make fun of like foreigners um messed up Japanese. I don't think so. Hmm. But maybe I can't say 100%, but maybe they did some white as like white skin or like blonde hair mm, like i think when they like when japanese people heard of white people i think the idea of white in japan is like you need to have like blonde hair colored eyes like blue eyes green eyes and stuff and yeah just like you know the lighter skin and they're going to expect you to look like a fucking model or celebrity and some shit. <laughs> to be honest, it always looks like that if you talk with people that already learn a different language, they appreciate it more than someone that only speaks their mother language. Yeah, because they know what's it like to study other language and actually speak and actually have a conversation it takes so much time it takes so much effort to be at that level so they would they know that yeah progress so that's why uh, yeah i agree with you yeah i agree with you yeah this yeah here i agree with you <laughs> mm. Have you ever ha have you ever heard someone gossiping about you in Japan because they thought you were a foreigner? Uh yes, but not really clearly. Not like really right in front of me. But it happened in other countries. Yeah, well I was in Amsterdam and there was actually two Japanese girls in Amsterdam and like they were kinda like struggling with the boat. So I kind of like helped them without saying anything, right? They were like, they were uh, like literally struggling. So I was like, you know, I helped them. And they told me, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much in English, right? And I just, they just told me, <clears throat> thank you in English. So I just said, oh, no problem, no problem in English. And they thought I'm a foreigner and they were like, saying wow this guy is so handsome this guy is so cool right in front of me in japanese and after that i just thought i just told them arigatou gozaimasu in japanese and they're like oh you speak japanese and i told them you know i'm a japanese so i speak japanese and they were they look they seemed so shocked that fact about you know i am a japanese and yeah so i have experience yeah Because people that speak more than one language know how hard it can be. Mm. Yeah, because they know the hustle and the time you have to sacrifice to it. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I've seen ugly white guys or girls being called beautiful because they exotic. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. That is so true especially in japan like i i'm i'm not trying to be mean all right i'm not trying to be mean but there's some like ugly ass looking people like foreigners especially like yeah 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 foreigners in japan they get treated like good looking model and stuff just because they look exotic they, just because they look different so yeah it just gives me like <laughs> Because, uh, because they do not understand the difficulty of not even being able to form the simplest sentences. Mm. <laughs> no worries. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's a risk, you think? 
that's the reason they just they just thought I am a foreigner somehow and uh, yeah <laughs> Isn't that kind of flex that Japanese people think because of your English is that uh, you are not even Japanese? <laughs> I don't know why, like, may mm, they really think that I'm foreigners. Surprisingly, I'm really surprised that, <laughs> yeah, you just, I'm shocked that they really think that I'm foreigner by my, like, you know. When I speak English and also when I don't speak, maybe just by looking, yeah, I yeah I can tell I look a little bit different than typical Japanese. Yes, I can tell, but I still look like Japanese, and they were like they <laughs> treat me like uh, foreigners, <laughs> and it happens. It's crazy though. It happens. It happens to me a lot. Probably y'all saw that in the last videos about like uh, feminine versus masculine video there was a one girl asking me like you know what br what brings you to japan and i was bruh <laughs> that sounds like the start of a romantic movie <laughs> yeah that is it is it the romantic movie <laughs> yeah uh, we were in the officer them now helping yeah they were struggling with the boat and i just <laughs> <laughs> they weren't cute they weren't cute so i was just like tell them oh bye bye have a good fun like have a good time you know so them bye that's all i didn't need like ask her numbers or social media they didn't ask me about my number so yeah that's it <laughs> it's the beard that makes you look for her. <laughs> what brings you to Japan? Well, I was born and raised here, so what? <laughs> that is true, yeah. I get that. Like, mm. even though I speak Japanese to them, they're like, you know, so how long have you been in Japan? Like, how did you study Japanese? Like, what? I born and raised in Japan. I'm Japanese. <laughs> Just got home, it's cause you got a masculine face. <laughs> mm. Thank you. Did you go to Rat Light District in Japan? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty popular in Japan. Uh, when I was working at the factory, uh, you know, in Japan, you need to respect L uh, like older people. And we have a nomikai, right? Like basically about drinking drinking with co-workers and after that uh older people are supposed to pay for everything right so we need to follow them no matter what because they are paying and they're older so there was a one senpai he told me he he wants to go to like a red light district in japan and apparently he wants um yeah he wants it and he told me let's go it's on me and i was like Oh, you saw a new one? Alright, I'm gonna try. And yes, I tried and I had a good time. Yeah, <laughs> it was a good experience. <laughs> Some people are so convinced that Japanese girls don't date black guys or find them attractive and will go extreme length to try to prove otherwise. Mm, that's crazy, yeah. That is crazy, yeah. Hold on, give me one sec.
what happens if you talk back to your senpai do you get beat up yeah there's a highly chance you could get beat up and like they gone not like a bullying bullying but they gonna treat you different yeah because that senpai is gonna tell his senpai and his like co-workers that oh this guy don't respect older people this guy did that this and that blah 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 and he's gonna make up the like rumor you know he's gonna it's like about snitch like it's basically snitch he's gonna snitch <laughs> and you're gonna get treated different I would never pay for bucks I have faith in my race hmm. well yeah in Japan like I understand that it's a culture and I think respect older people is a beautiful culture yes but I'm not agree with that idea 100% I'm like 50 yes I do respect you but if I respect you you got to respect me back. You know what I mean? If you don't respect me, I won't I don't respect you. But in Japan, like why do I have to respect you just cuz you're older? Mm. Why? Like what does age has anything to do with like like it doesn't matter. Age doesn't matter. You just live longer than me. That's all. <laughs> <clears throat> I study Japanese on Hell Talk and new Japanese girls hit me up every day, even Indians. Uh, I guess it depends on the black guy. Mm. Depends, yeah, it depends. Hell Talk. Yeah, it brings back memory. I tried the app before. Yeah. I actually met one guy from Hell Talk. He, he's from um seattle yeah he's from seattle yeah how is that legal in workplace i mean it's legal that's a japanese toxic working culture i'm say yeah japanese toxic culture it's the truth it's the truth it's really the truth yeah you you won't get promoted just because you were younger than them even though you got skills more than them or like you yeah it just it just happens it's just like that in japan like there's nothing we can do about it <laughs> so i didn't like working for a japanese company because of that kind of like toxic culture that i have to respect them just because they're older uh i won't get promoted just because they're older it's everything about everything's about age like if you want to make your company better, you should pick the better person, not about like not based on their ages. That's crazy. Or prostitute clean in Japan. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I'm not in the prostitute industry, so I don't know about that. But I I fucking hope so. <laughs> They probably fuck with light skinned black guys more than dark skins. Mm. No wonder the suicide rate is so high in Japan. Yeah, that that's the reason. That's the reason. Yeah, that's literally the reason. Mm, that toxic culture involves um like yeah, suicide rate in Japan. Mm. Also, the karoshi rate, sadly. Yeah, kar karoshi. Karoshi. Y'all ever heard of karoshi? Karoshi basically means people who died from overwork. So, uh, like your boss or your senpai is going to force you to work overtime work. Like, that's crazy. Like, s people do the overtime work without getting paid just because their senpai or boss told you so and 
they can say back because they're gonna get treated differently like you'll be the douche in that like you know the group like a company you know what i mean so they won't say it they won't say it back because people older people have the power in japan i hate that i hated it so bad so i actually <laughs> So when I was working at the factory, I was really tired and sick of that kind of culture. I even like, you know, talk them back. Like there was a one guy, uh, one senpai, he was like pushing me, uh, like do a lot of works that I, I, that I don't have to do, but he was asking me to do it because he's out of like hands and stuff. So he told me, yo, you gotta do it, you do it, you do it, you do this, you do, th you do that. And he just like, you know, pisses me off, he stressed the fuck out of me. So I just told him, no, I'm not gonna do that. It's your job, my job is this. And like, just cause I'm old, like younger than you, I'm not gonna like be your bitch. Like, it's, uh, it's basically about bitch. Like, why do I have to be your bitch? Like, that's your job, you do it, you get paid for that, so, and I talked to him back, and he didn't like that, he didn't like that, he was like, what the fuck you mean, you were so rude, you were younger, why are you talking like that, why are you talking me back, and blah, 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 and we had, like, not like a fighting, fighting, but like, we were arguing, and I was like, I left, I left the uh, factory, because I was like, fuck this shit, fuck this work, fuck this culture, fuck this country, <laughs> And I, I left and he, 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 like, he didn't want to like, you know, say sorry, but his senpai, um, came to me and like, he was a really cool guy. He, 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 he was like me. He didn't care about like, he didn't like, the like kind of like a toxic culture about age. So he told me, yeah, I'll feel you and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it ended up that senpai he apologized me <laughs> like i'm sorry about what i said what i did and blah 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 and yeah it was all fine after all but yeah i had that kind of experience <laughs> mm. to be honest i only see myself working in japan if i'm working in a foreign company or if i am self-employed mm -hmm. i wouldn't recommend you to work in a japanese company don't do it like it's not like I, i'm not i'm not saying don't work in japan i'm saying don't work for a japanese company mm. there's a foreign company in japan or you know if you're self-employed in japan yes I don't know, I would not like to work in Japan, Japanese company. Nah, don't do it, don't do it, man. Well, that explains everything. I had a presentation about uh, Karoshi on my daigaku last semester. Whoa. I don't know why, but I have a thing for ugly Japanese girls. What you mean? Why don't you start a social media company and we'll come work for you? Oh. I want... I'll be the CEO? <laughs> yeah, I'm down. <laughs> you seem like a calm person. What makes you angry? Oh, yeah. So, about sorry, yes. He, he was, like, he was keep nagging me. He was uh, keep telling me like do this do that and which which is his job and if i don't do that he's gonna complain he's gonna say like why didn't you do it i told you so right well i was like nah i didn't have time to do it. and besides it was his job and like we were kind of arguing so yeah it just kind of like kind of like you know i didn't like that because he was acting like he's the boss he was acting like he's better than me just because he's older than me and i didn't like that and no one's no one in that factory don't say anything about the fact mm, so i had to say it 
the only man I will not talk back to is my father. You should always stand your man. Mm -hmm. To be honest, if, if we all one day were to meet in Japan, that would be so cool. That would be so cool, man. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to meet all of you in Japan. Maybe go grab a drink, go grab a beer, maybe go grab Mexican food or I don't know, Japanese food. I can take you to the good ramen store. So y'all can try y'all can have a good time y'all can have a good meal in japan yeah i would love to do that mm -hmm. sure come in april and i will meet you there <laughs> i'm in tokyo in 10 days too shit in 10 days bro it's almost it's almost here it's almost i won't be in japan until like 2024 bro 2024 it's like next year, uh, but I'll be here. I'll be in Japan. So mm. Even if you guys do it and I'm not there that will that will still be cool, man You're a really nice guy, man. You're a really nice dude Konbanwa <laughs> Jay-san, Gaikokujin no Shoken-san desu. Hajimemashite. Hello, good evening. Hajimemashite. Ja, chotto. Ja, chotto. Ah, we... We can hotbox chance room. <laughs> yeah, we could, we could. All right, let's. Let, can I play this one? Can I play this game? So yeah, basically, uh, this live, I'm I'm doing a Japanese um like a typing game. So, but at the same time, you know, I'm like chilling, talking. If y'all have any questions about Japanese language, Japanese culture, ask me anything. So, let me play this game. And if you study Japanese, I would recommend you to play this game. It's called Sushida. Um, it's basically about typing game, but it's all Japanese words. So maybe it can help you read in Japanese or mm, something. Help you something. Yes, let's try. It's really hard. I'm not really good at typing, but Teddy uh, Bear. Holy tea, huh? Yuki Daruma. Oh, oh, cushion. Pop, pop, pop. Haru no gawa. Bargain said. Huh? Pop, guitar. And the This is hard. <laughs> I think this course is not for me. I think easiest is the my course. <laughs> Like it, I will definitely come back in 2024. So just see me up, bro. Yeah, y'all, y'all can shit. Yeah, y'all can link up. Mm. Choose. I'll drop you a message on Insta, Sean, if it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally okay with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you wanna hang out, we just go for a drink with my sister and me. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, Kirby and Antonio, I don't do any type of joke. <laughs> Sushida, see, nice game. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fun, it's fun, it's fun to play. Um, yeah, you can you you can play it. Sushida, it's for free, so. Um, 
do you drink alcohol? That look like a a whole maki. A whole maki. Okay, let's try the easiest one. So there should be like easy words, like simple words. So maybe maybe these are some words that you guys know. Let's try. But the thing is, like, there's some English words popping up, and like it was a word negative, right? And when I see negative, like English spells pop up in my head first, so I tend to type in an English spell. But it's supposed to be like a Japanese, Japanese English, which is like negative. So it's <laughs> it's hard for me. <laughs> How did you learn English? Um, I've been studying English for five years now, and I studied English by myself. I was watching a lot of videos on, um, like YouTube. I watch a lot of movies. I listen to a lot of music, and most importantly, I talked a lot. I was talking a lot of people in English. I was talking, 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 talking. Then, yes, I speak English now. Mm. And also, I used to live in in other countries too. So yeah,、mm, I actually came back from Canada. I was in a college, and I decided to drop out and came back to Tokyo, and started my YouTube channel. So yeah, so yeah, like last year I was in Canada. I was in Toronto. The only time I can come is in December because I work the rest of the year. Oh, okay. I'm I'm waiting for all of you. Hope I can see you guys in Japan. Hmm. Because、yeah, so far I never I never met fans in person. I never met my fans in person. Never like subscribers. Never. Like I never had the moment that someone's actually came up to me. And like you know, telling me that they watch, they you know watch my channel, their subscribers and stuff like that. I never had that experience, never met them. So I'm waiting for that moment, you know, because I want to see my subscribers or fans in person and talk. Yeah, nice, Jason. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。If you guys have any questions about Japanese language, Japanese culture, ask me anything, alright? Ask me anything. Literally anything.、Mm. And also, yeah, our, subs- our, subscri- our subscribers just hit、uh, 1200 almost. Not about now, but yeah, 1200. Let me check now. Yeah, now right now, one thousand two hundred twelve subscribers I got, and it hasn't monetized yet because I need four、uh, hundred more hours of watch time, watch hours, public watch hours, so then I can monetize this channel, and I'm waiting for it. Four hundred more hours, four hundred more hours. It's almost there. It's right there. You know, out of four thousand hours, it took me so long, and I'm almost there, almost, almost monetized. I can monetize this channel. Yeah, I really appreciate all of your support. I really appreciate that you guys actually subscribe to my channel, watch my channel, watch my video, and like also like y'all in the stream. Man, I really appreciate it. I love you. I love, I love every one of you. Really, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Some people even donate me. Man, I'm so blessed. I'm so happy. I'm so. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I can buy、um, like other equipments. Like I'm trying to get the lights because I'm trying to film at night. So I need the better lights,、uh, better microphone. I want the mi- wireless microphone. So yeah. That and yeah, that kind of stuff. And also, I wanna, you know, actually go to other cities. But I need to earn money for first to go there and do the shooting. So yeah. 
Did you have any successes with Japanese women during your stay in Japan? Hmm. I would travel to Japan, Kansai, at October. October month this year, which uh, which at autumn、uh, season. It's my first time t r a v e l to Japan. Ooh, first time. You really like Japan, huh? Yeah, and Kansai area. This, that's a really good area because that's where I recommend you to go in Japan. Kansai. Like, Kansai area is a really good area in Japan. I like it. I haven't been. There now, I'm going in 10 days and stay for 14 days, so I'll see.、Uh, typing my best, I'm trying my best to shoot my shot, I guess. Yeah, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah, don't forget to drop the, the size matter videos. Yes, yes, yes. So, I want, I, I want to do that at night, I want to do that at night around the like clubs. So, people were like drunk, people were like willing to answer. Actually, answer that kind of questions because, like, if you do that in Japan, like Japanese people don't even like to talk about that kind of like topic. So,、hmm, I should do it at night, right? So, I need the lights, I need better equipment, then I can get the good opinions from Japanese people. So, yeah, for the for to make good content, yeah, better content, make better content, better video. Mm. Okay, so let's try the easiest one. Easiest one. Let's go. Bam. Eki. Mura. Tuki. Golf. Koala. Iwashi. Logu. In. Icon. たこ焼き、シクラメン、ビギヤート、ナナシさん、いただきます。あ、フランスパン、使い回し、理科のテスト。盗み聞き。お<笑>お。そう、だわざいいですもん。だわざ、いや、definitely easy。Yeah, I really love Japan's culture so much and also the environment. ありがとうございます、ジェイさん。<笑>ありがとう、ありがとう。日本好きで嬉しいです。僕も嬉しいです。ありがとうございます。I even learned some Kansai dialect word last year. Homa? Homa ka? Homa ni? Eh, eh, eh. Kansai ben ne? It's called Kansai ben. Kansai dialect. It's called Kansai ben.、Mm. And to me, though, Kansai dialect is that it sounds way better than like、uh, standard Japanese, like a Proper Japanese, I think, like proper Japanese, which people in each side speak.、Mm, like, I like dialects.、Mm, so,、mm. <laughs> it just sounds better. Like, to me, though, it just sounds better. It sounds more natural. Yeah, I think it's just because I'm from West Side, too. But, you know, <laughs> like, people in Tokyo, they speak like anime characters. Not like crazy anime character, but like usually, like in anime, they speak Japanese without any dialects. So I never thought people in real life they speak like that for real. I never thought about it. I didn't expect it. But people actually speak like that in Tokyo, surprisingly. So yeah.、Mm. はい、べっぴん大きに、なんでやねん、好きやねん、かまへん。<笑>めっちゃ知ってるやん、めっちゃな、ま、学んでる、かさいべん。<笑>いいで、いいで。うん。I like that, yeah.、Mm. I like when foreigners speak 
Japanese with dialects. I love it, especially with the Western dialect. No, 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 Western. Yeah, yeah, Western dialects. Like Japanese Western dialects. I love it, especially girls. When girls speak with dialects, man, it, it just. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's just like accent, you know? Hmm. It's good you're going early in the year. Less tourists. Mm -mm -mm. Less tourists. Mm. Right, let me let me try it. So, sixty yen. I gained sixty yen by playing this game. So let's go one hundred yen. I want one hundred yen. Gomu. Wani. Haru. Panda. Asari, namazu, koto, shinkai, eh? Oh, oh, oh. ごちそうさま。ガチャガチャ。ど、どこ行くの？はあ、I <笑> huh, lost one hundred twenty yen, so that wasn't good. <laughs> I see. Can't wait to try out uh, when I travel to Kansai at month October later. Yeah, yeah, try, try, try. Mm. Talk to them in like ja yeah, with Japanese uh, Kansai dialect. Nanshin! Nandiyane! And stuff like that. Mm. Y'all have any questions? That size matter. Definitely, I'm gonna do that interview. Definitely. Yeah. Hmm. Let me roll up the cigarette real quick. <laughs> Do you guys do you guys watch any other Japanese YouTubers like my content? Do you guys watch that? Like there's a Japanese YouTuber do the interview videos for the people like for the foreigners like Takashi from Japan that's like one of the biggest channel in this game I think like in this content. Mm. How about just basic listening comprehension? What do you mean? You should do videos like London's Eats. What's that? London's Eats? London's Eats. What is that? Never, never heard of that. London, London, London's Eats. You're the only Japanese YouTuber that shows his real self. Oh, that that's that could be yeah. Uh, that's like <laughs> you got the same feeling. You got the same feeling because I feel like uh, I'm I'm not trying to be mean, but they all seem like a fake fake, like you know they just do the interview, not other stuff. And like they, I feel like they're changing their personality for videos when they shoot. Their whole personality changes. For me though, I just don't change it. I, I just can't do that. I'm just <laughs> doing it with my style, so I'm, I'm just like that. Mm. 
And I'm glad that you take it, you know, in a positive way. I really, I, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I mostly visit Japanese game YouTubers to learn more about Japanese language. Oh, then this is a good channel, bro. This is a good channel. Uh, I've been streaming. And, like, this is actually my first time uh, playing this game, though, on the stream. But, like, yeah, hopefully I want to do that, like, you know, gaming streaming. Um, then, like, yeah, maybe you can learn Japanese from my stream. And there's going to be uh, one more person right next to me do the streaming together when we do the, like, a gaming streaming or whatever. So, yeah. Um... I sometimes watch, but not every video, but you're the only Japanese YouTuber I'm subscribed to and watch everything. Wow, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. ありがとうございます。うわ、嬉しいわ。幸せや、俺。幸せ。ありがとう、本当に。本当にありがとう。僕は嬉しいです。日本で待ってます。why are you rolling up on YouTube? Oh, this is this is cigarette. This is cigarette, bro. This is cigarette. Um, see? Cigarette. This is the proof cigarette. Because weed is illegal in Japan, so I can't smoke. I can't. I watch Kata Katachi sometimes, but we have a better connection. Ooh. I was saying... Uh, say you some sentences in Japanese to test our comprehension. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try that one then. I just want to learn more about Japanese language and also making new Japanese friend. Okay, now you got Japanese friend. I'm your Japanese friend. I'm all of your Japanese friend. Yeah, so when you come to Japan, Got you, bro. I got you. Y'all never gonna feel lonely. Because when person living in other countries, they might feel lonely. They tend to feel lonely. Um, yeah, I felt that. A little bit, though. A little bit, I kind of felt that. And it's good to have someone you know in other countries that you're gonna live in. And yeah, I'll be the one for y'all. So yeah, you're not gonna have any problems. I got you. Uh, Apex stream, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. My first Japanese guy friend. Yeah. Let's see if he's smoking white ash. <laughs> nice. So... Yeah, let's try the... I'm gonna say some Japanese sentence. Then... Uh, Y'all can... Um, okay, Japanese sentence. What Yeah, I'm gonna say Japanese sentence. And y'all can guess it. Y'all can... Y'all guess what I said in Japanese. Like, easy, easy, easy sentence, right? That's such a nice gesture, Sean. Gesture? What What did I do? What gesture? <laughs> when I talk, I tend to like, you know, do that, so... Uh, this one? <laughs> uh, Nihongo, hmm... Boku wa... Taima wa Nihon de gohou ka ni naru beki da to omoimasu. Taima wa Nihon de gohou ka... How about that? <laughs> Hope you guys understand what I said. Nihon wa taima o gohoka subeki. Uh, 
Nihon. What? You, if you want me to type in, let me know, all right? I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna type the sentence that I said in the comment section. So let me know. So I'm gonna say it again. Nihon wa taima wo gouho ga suru beki. How about that? Okay. Here's what I got. In Japan, in Japan, goes my timer at five, something like this. Uh, I think this sentence kind of like, kind of hard, kind of hard. I don't know what is goho. Okay. Goho is legal. So I said goho ka, which means legalize. Mm. Mm. Goho ka. I said goho ka. So, Nihon wa taima wo goho ka suru beki. Goho is legal. Legal. Goho ka is legalized. So. So, Brandon, you got in Japan right. Mm. But after that, Nihon wa taima wo do something. And. Goho ka. Oh, you're 23. Oh, same. I'm 23 too. I'm 23. Same, huh? They need to legalize weed. <laughs> mm. Oh, I think this is exactly the hardest at learning Japanese. A lot of words that sound the same, but no kanji to different. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is true. Especially when there's no, um, like, subtitles and stuff. I think it's gonna, like, confuse you. Just like, if you just, like, listening without seeing any, like, letters or words, sentences. If you're not reading it, it's hard if you had to just listen. Taima. Okay. Taima is the... That means weed in Japan. Mm. Taima. That means weed. So I guess you got it right then. What prefecture do you think is more friendly to foreigners? I think Okinawa. Okinawa is the most... Uh, like a place where foreigners feel welcomed in Japan, I think. Like, mm. I guess it's because uh, like there's a American military base in Okinawa, like a big uh, American base, uh, like military base. So there are a lot of Americans living there. And Okinawa was actually other another country not that wasn't japan but japan took the island and it became japan so they have their own culture too they have different uh opinion perspective and stuff and they're more friendly to foreigners and they're really down to earth um yeah they're down to earth they're really friendly and stuff and they some of them really speak English, so yeah, Okinawa. Ah, I see. Thought timer. Ah, not timer. Taima, taima. 
But when you say timer in Japanese, it's it's gonna be taima, taima. But if you wanna say weed in Japanese, it's gonna be taima, taima. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's hard. Yeah, 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 it's hard. So yeah, what I said was, yeah, I guess you already got the answer. Japan should legalize weed. Mm, they should legalize weed in Japan. And that's what I said. And that's my opinion too. <laughs> mm, I, I feel like Japanese need weed. Because they're so stressed out. Hmm. They're so stressed out. I always thought weed would be weed. Uh, almost, almost, almost. Like, there's a lot of terms of saying weed in Japan, just like English, like, you know. Um, we call it taima, weed, marifana, hapa. And stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, let's do the another sentence. And while you guys guessing, I'm gonna play this game. So, <coughs> let's go. Another sentence. Another one. Mm. Okay, how about this one? Eto, boku wa. Yeah, I should say in a casual way. Ore wa. うん、いつもだいたい7時間くらい。うん、6時間、うん、オッケー。理想の睡眠時間は8時間。毎日8時間を寝たいけど、あんまり最近は5時間くらいしか寝れてません。理想の睡眠時間は8時間ですけど、8時間だけど実際は5時間しか寝れてません。How about this one? Can you call it Asha? Mm, no, no, we don't say that. Asha. Mm, no. Oh, cool, bro. No problem. <laughs> Uh, so when you say that's my weed, weed timer, you say これ taima taima desu. Oh yeah, when you wanna say this, that's my weed timer. Um, これ taima taima Okay, so the sentence, the sentence, another sentence, right? 理想の睡眠時間は8時間だけど。実際は5時間くらいしか寝れてません One more time, one more time. Okay, one more time, one more time. I'm gonna say one more time, very slowly. Then I'll give I'll give you guys a I'll give you guys time to think about it while I play this game. So, okay. Disono suiminjikan wa hachijikan. だけど実際は5時間くらいしか寝れません。Alright. Now it's your time to think about it. And if you want me to type in or if you want me to say it again, let me know. Let's go. 意味、熊、星、え? Ruby, Sama, Sekai, Otoro, Eisei, Suzumoshi, Kappamaki, Kamaaki, Katataki, Jikan Ganai, Miku, Ohime Sama, Hanage Deteru Yo. Honda na no uda Yakei shinimizu Dolu keiki Asphalto Akiresu ken Neko Panchi Hizakozou 
Ugh. Woo! 600 yen bun o toku desu sa. Uh, type. Oh, you want me to type? Hold on. Eto. What was the sentence? Ah. Lisono. Okay, this is I just typed in. Uh, I know it's uh, a lot of words, a lot of kanjis, a lot of uh, difficult kanjis. Hmm. But hmm. yeah, if you don't know some words, let me know, and I'ma read it again. Riso no suimin jikan wa hachi jikan dakedo jisai wa. 5時間くらいしか寝れていない The ideal ideal guess is 8 hours but in reality I can only sleep about 5 hours I hate that you can't copy the text <laughs> You trying to copy and paste it? Copy and translate? All right, so the ideal guess is eight hours. Brandon, you almost got it. You almost got it. Yeah. I think you got the last sentence right. The last one. Like, but in reality, I can only sleep about five hours. Yes. The last sentence, you got it right. But, yeah, first sentence. Like, this one. The first sentence, yes, you, you almost get it. Almost, almost, almost. Mm. You guys Maybe more like normally I want or should about uh, sleep eight uh, sleep eight hours but in reality sleep about five hours okay can you type it using just your gun okay This is the first sentence, right? So I'm actually saying, hold on.
Alright, this is uh, a sen sen sentence with all hiragana. Ideal sleep time is eight hours long. That's all I got. Oh, okay, okay, you got it right here. The ideal sleep times is about eight hours, but in reality, I just sleep about five hours. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. How are you? How about others? <laughs> How about others? Other people. You got it? <clears throat> Diso no. Okay. I'm gonna explain it. Diso. Diso is ideal. Okay. Diso is ideal. Diso no. Suimin jikan. Suimin jikan is like sleep time. Alright. So, Diso no suimin jikan is my ideal sleep time. Sleep time. My ideal sleep time. What is, right? Hachijikan. Hachijikan is, jikan is hours. And it's eight. So, eight hours. Dakedo is, but. But. So, my ideal sleep time is eight hours. But, jisai, jisai is like, like in reality or like actually uh yeah like in reality mm. what is like it's like is um gojikan so it was hachijikan is eight hours so gojikan is clearly five hours obviously shika is like only only nerete inai uh nerete inai is like uh like sleep sleep but you know there's a uh, Shika in front of uh, Nerete nai So only sleep it, It'll be like only sleep I wasn't familiar with the vocabulary So I didn't get it uh, I guess like vocabulary wise It was really hard Like uh, Riso is like You know another vocabulary And Suimin Jikan Suimin is like another way of saying sleep So mm. I guess, and jisai, like, there was a lot of uh, vocabularies. Mm. So that was kind of hard, I, I think. Diso no suimin jikan wa hachi jikan da kedo, jisai wa go jikan shika. Yes. Mm. Any other questions? Mura, ima, gomu, yamori, aori, kaeru, nekai, chaino, dekoki, piramisu, iwaka, Gorgeous. <laughs> Shabon Dama. Koakuma Teki. Fukuzatsu Kaiki. Fukuzatsu Kaiki. Machigai. Hell yeah! 240 yen, <laughs> I think I'm, I'm, I'm getting better at it. <laughs> okay, you got it now. Alright, alright. Okay, so... I think... Uh, it's been... How, how, it's been... How long have I been doing this stream, though? Mm. 
Bro, you're rich now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 200 yen. I gained 200 yen. Oh, it's almost like two hours. All right. So. Pium. 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 Okay. So. Uh, for today. Uh, I'm done with this game. For today. And yeah, if you guys still have any questions, let me know. Uh, to answer it. Then I'm going to wrap this. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna mm, end this stream. So, mm. any questions? Now, for me, got it. Now, Joe, thank you for the support. Thank you for the support. Completely, no problem. 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 Like, I don't mind sliding in my DM and stuff. Nah, I don't care. Like, I don't really mind. So, yeah, I'm down anything. So, yeah. Anything, anything. All right. Mm. So, mm. y'all have no questions? No questions? Anything that you want to talk about more? <laughs> Maybe we can, we can talk. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> You done? <sighs> All right, so seems like there's no questions no more. So I'm gonna wrap this up. I appreciate you guys to, you know, join in my stream today. And also uh, the one you know, people who donate me, I really appreciate it. Uh, it really helps our channel to grow. Yeah. And so, yeah, it means a lot to us. Yeah, we're trying to get uh, better content, better video to entertain you guys more. So thank you so much. And I really appreciate all of your support. Oh, you got a question? Okay, what's up, what's up? Uh, great, I drop you a message next week before flying to Japan so we can choose a day to meet. I bet, bet, bet. You say earlier in the stream that you can't go to gym with tats. That's true. Well, that is true. Like, it's not like you can go to gym. You can get a membership if you got tats. Mm. Like, some gyms, uh, it's okay to have tats, but you can't show them. So like it in the summer in Japan it's hella hot it's humid as hell it's hella hot you've been sweating like a bitch but and also you're exercising you're working out but if you got tats you gotta hide them you need to wear uh, long sleeves so people can see your tats that's true so but there, there's some like few gyms that allows you to have tats and it allows you to sh you know show the tats so yeah <laughs> depends on the gym all right so i guess this is it uh that was a really i had a good time with y'all i uh, really appreciate to join in my stream uh, i'll see you guys in next stream all right and we'll be we'll be dropping next video real soon about uh, uh average rent like how much do people in tokyo usually pay for rent and that's gonna be the next video in real soon so wait for it uh all right so oh this is not relate related to language but what is popular for japanese in summer i'm going to uh language school there in july um But what is popular for Japanese in summer? I think like go to beach and do the barbecue. Then after the barbecue, we do the fireworks, like a little fireworks together. I think that's the popular things for, for, for Japanese in summer. Yeah. So, all right. Hope you guys have a good day. Good night. See you around. Bye.